Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So, we've got one system from the user Kerbal who um, sent their system in here. So it's called R Star Galaxy Maps, okay. I think it'd be cool to explore, look at that. There's a description. Okay, so it's not actually a solar system by the looks of it. Alright, so it's already I've already got it installed actually, so it should be here. And let's see what he's prepared for us. So where is it? Star and Galaxy Map. Right. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh damn, man. Someone has spent a lot of time on this. Oh my god. What is going on there? Ah. Don't press play. Oh my god. How much time did this take? Oh my god. He's even got other galaxies. Oh my god. Damn! Wow, alright, okay, this is something entirely different to what we've ever seen. In the Milky Way, there's the sun. So, third version of the Star and Galaxy map, featuring a bunch of new stars I found interesting, plus a few suggestions from Discord. Previous version of the map can be found here. Those has descriptions of who's added stars. Reminder, south is up and north is down. Okay. Explanation, the game shows camera inclination this way. Up is minus and down doesn't have a minus. It was kind of an accident for me to do that, but it was too far. Okay, blah, blah, blah. New stars adding this version. Okay. I mean, going through all these is going to be near impossible, but I mean, there's a there's a lot of stuff in here. But we will try and uh, see, we'll try and explore as much as we can. So, suggest, so HV888 suggested... One of the largest hypergiant stars. C seven three. Okay, so we'll try and find that. Possibly larger than Severson two one eight. Interesting. Maybe one day it'll be announced as the biggest. So where are we? So there's the sun. I'm guessing this is Alpha Centauri, isn't it? There, they're the closest. Proxima. You got Alpha A and Alpha B. Yeah. Then you got Proxima, so that's the closest to the sun. Cool. Bernard Star. Van Marien, Sirius, you all the local, the local gang. Looking cool. There's Regulus down there, Arcturus. Former Holt, Trappist One. Hey, Pollux. Says the local, zooming further out. Algol. Regulus, yeah, Castor. Says the Castor stars. There should be quite a lot of them in this sort of group. Oh, there's only one. Okay. The Castor, the chest, the Castor gem stars, isn't it? Should be a good load of those. They're all binaries. Antares. Big star there. NR Canis Majoris. Beetlejuice. A rare eye jewel. Naos. Wetson. So, getting to the more lesser known ones further out as we go. But look how many stars there. This is insanity. Actually, let's try and find. Let's see if we can find the option. Um, is it view, isn't it? There's a button in here. I always forget where it is. There's a button that makes everything bigger. Now, which one is it? I think it's... Not that one, no. I don't know which button. I always forget which button is it. This one. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, look at this. Go. It makes them bigger. Yes. So it's so much better than the small. I have them actually more. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. Oh, there's black holes as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. I love this. That's such a cool feature. We'll leave it like that. That's more That's more like it. So if you go, to, if you now zoom into, the, say, the sun again. Or tea garden stuff. Let's go there. Wait. Or pro corn, apparently. Get all the local stars a little brighter so you can actually see them. Very, very cool. Awesome. So sun again. There's sun zooming out. Wow, this is insanity. I mean, how many? Oh, it's also taking ages. It's taking hours. E B L M, small star there. It's V Y kind of switcher is here. There he is. Yeah, that's the cool one. Big, big star. Cool. There's so much description here, but this is all just showing what he's added in here. But you can see it all. Yeah, it's all just about the stars. But yeah, this is this is really, really cool. EZ Canis Majoris. So what's that? That's like a purple one. Or like a blue. What is that? 
Well, obviously, it's a little buggy. That's like a deep blue. It's a little buggy, the far right you got. That is amazing. Man. Look at that. That's so cool. And he's only filled up a tiny little reach to the whole galaxy. you got to fill them all up. <laughs> all the whole galaxy. Oh, my God. That would just be insanity. There's Stephenson there. Stephenson. So the largest currently known star. UI Scutty nearby as well. There it is. Ah, because we're inside. Because the galaxy will keep clicking on the clouds. The galaxy clouds. Stephenson. Select the gas. Select the star. Oh. There's Sagittarius A. Stephenson. Quite a, quite a big distance away, old Stephenson, isn't it? We look there. I mean, it's not in the local region around the sun. I mean, if we were to go to the sun's local region, I mean, I wouldn't say... Zooming in, I think the local region around the can I can I select the sun, please? Oh my god, it's so hard to navigate. Ah, but here's just, let's just try and find them. So, okay, so the sun itself. So there we go, all the way in the middle. So, I think this is probably the local region to the sun. I mean, this is already quite a substantial distance apart. All of these guys. Remember, the sun's there. There's Alpha Centauri. That's already four point six light years, isn't it? Roughly. So, all these, I mean, these are the local stars, but if you go all the way out, I mean, these are in a whole, their own whole league. So, I mean, looking all the way at Stevenson, all the way over there, that's a substantially big distance apart from where the sun is. So, we'll be all right when that goes hypernova, that's for sure. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> so, there you go. So, star on the edge of the Milky Way, HD 5064, or 50,064. Pretty cool. But it's really hard to navigate with the galaxy clouds. That is really annoying. Let's go a little further out in the Milky Way. So what's going on over here? So this is the... is this That's the large metallic cloud. You've got the small one there. Where's the big Andromeda? There it is. Andromeda Triangulum Galaxy as well. My gosh. So there's Andromeda. So no stars marked in here. Is there any stars marked from Andromeda? I don't, I don't know. But if there is... Maybe you can have those as well. That'd be a cool suggestion. But yeah, any any stars in the other galaxies? I mean, oh, oh, there's one. Look. Romano star in Triangulum Galaxy. Yeah, if there's one in there, there must be a star that's been named in Andromeda that you could add. Surely. I I'm, I'm think there is. The top of my head tells me that I'm sure something has been named in there. I see you're over here. Black hole DR1. What's that? I'm not sure what DR1 is. This is really cool. I mean, we're not going to go for every single one. It's because navigating this system is too difficult, as you've already seen. So is there actually any planets in here, then? Well, some of these are insane colours. Sextons A. So what is that? Is that a planet, or...? Oh, that's the actual... <laughs> the galaxy. <laughs> Whoops. Doesn't know. I, I I haven't heard of sextons, sextans. Not heard of that one. But there's your local Milky Way, though. But yeah, this is fantastic, though. This is really really cool. I mean, it'd be really cool to see this fully, you know, with as many stars as you can add as possible. I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of stars that need adding still <laughs> to fill this whole galaxy up. I mean, that is amazing. That is really really well done. Very nice job to him because that is that's a plethora amount of work to put this all in i mean that's a, look how many he's done already and that's not even scratching the surface of how many stars are in the milky way <laughs> i mean oh my god this is cool though it is really really cool i think that's really really well done peony stars so that's something close to the uh sagittarius a is it one of the local stars in that massive cluster close to sag a yeah okay pistol star hey so pistol stars in here as well very nice. That's close. So pistol stars close to the centre of the Milky Way. I didn't know that. Cool. Line them all up. <laughs> Look at that. There's your. There's your. Where's the sun point? That's really weird. But there's your liner for all your stars. So a big comparison here of all the stuff. There's some of the smaller ones there. EBOM. That's the smallest. So what are these? These like white dwarfs then? No, sure, because that's EBOM, that's the smallest known star, I believe, there, or Red Dwarf, so I'm not sure what these guys are. I mean, there must be, like, white, I mean, these are definitely white dwarfs down here, but I'm not sure what, they're serious, I'm not sure what this one is. It's a pretty big one, if it's a white dwarf, that's a pretty big one, so I'm not sure what that is. 
There's your full little cavity. Oh my god. All the way up to Stevenson there. So this other star he was talking about. So the WHG64 star. So that's... And that's not it, no. So there's a one called C7370. Where is that? So supposedly larger than... Not sure. C37, one of the largest retired giant stars. So we search it. So C, what's the seven three seven zero. Oh. Seven three seven zero. Is it HV eight eight eight? Then what? Oh, it must be. Yeah, I think that's what he means. That's it. There, yeah, this one. So it's smaller than UY at the moment, but maybe it'll be bigger when more analysis is done, and I'm guessing. One of the largest. So it's bigger than Canis Majoris's, this guy here. So it's actually called HV888, so I'm not sure what he means C737. I don't know what he means there, but... Um, one of the largest. Oh, is that like a Discord ID number or something? I'm guessing. So yeah, HV888 is what this is. Okay. Cool. See some familiar faces in here. Troigi, obviously the Munich there. Very cool. That's really, really cool. But yeah, I think I'd, I would suggest... I'm sure there is one. I'm not 100% sure. I'm sure there's stars that have been located in Andromeda. Maybe add one of those. Just a suggestion. But that could be cool. Because Andromeda's empty at the moment. So yeah, maybe you could get your first star in there. I'm sure. I'm sure there's one. I don't know if I'm going mad. I'm sure there's one. But yeah, there we are. So I think, nonetheless, though, I mean, this is just a fantastic curation. So we'll go ahead and close that because there's too many stars to explore to read every single one. I mean, there's uh, a lot of stuff. And a lot of them are just, you know, just saying who suggested them in, like, shout-outs, aren't they? So yeah, we'll skip we'll skip that. So I do apologise if you wanted me to read that. But yeah, we'll skip that just for this one because it's mainly more about the exploration and the reading, I think, with this. So yeah, that's really, really cool. There's a local group of the sun objects again. Let's zoom in there. It's really, really cool. But yeah, there we go. Nonetheless, what a fantastic curation there by Kerbal. So yeah, massive thank you to them for sending this in. I think this was really, really cool. And yeah, that all said and done. Let's see if we can get 100 likes on this system for Kerbal's system here. Because this is more than just a system. <laughs> Quite literally. It's an entire local group of galaxies here. Uh, but yeah, really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, yeah, see so them go for 100 likes as well. Subscribe for more um, to you guys. And yeah, make sure you'll stay safe out there. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.